Today's episode is about pipe back purging. Today, I will share my experience and know-how about pipe back purging. I will show you how to prepare back purge, how to do back purge well, and common back purge mistakes. What is pipe back purging? Removing air inside the pipe and filling it with a shielding gas like argon. That is called pipe back purging. Do all kinds of pipes require back purging? No, carbon steel pipe doesn't need back purging. Stainless steel, duplex, inconel, molybdenum, and titanium. These chrome nickel alloy pipes require back purging. What happens if I don't do pipe back purging? The root weld will be oxidized and the expensive pipe will become a scrap. What do you need for back purging? Purging gas, mostly argon is used. Purging dam, I use high density foam. Quarter inch inside diameter vinyl tube. Quarter inch copper muffler and fittings. What does the copper muffler for? Purging effect is good if the gas comes out like a spray. If the gas comes out without anything on the tube end, the gas turbulence inside the pipe makes it hard to weld. I tried many ways, but the copper muffler is way better than anything else. All you need is hose barb, female fitting, copper muffler, and hose clamp. If you don't have these parts, you can use a rag or cloth gloves. It is way better than nothing. Next, I use high density foam as a purging dam. High density foam is better than low density foam. Cut the foam according to each pipe size. I recommend at least 3 to 4 inch thickness high density foam. Cut around half inch bigger than the pipe outside. Then the foam fits tightly inside the pipe. Bigger foam makes the purge dam seal better and prevents the purge dam from falling out during welding. Insert the purge inlet line to one side. Seal the other side with a tape and make vent holes. You can use a foam to vent the side instead of a tape. Inside a pipe is purged with argon gas as the air escapes through the vent. Key point. The purge line is low and the vent is high. You should remember this when you weld a complicated pipe spool or if you weld a horizontal weld position. Argon gas is heavier than the air. If you place the vent lower than the purge, all purging gas will escape through the vent. On the other hand, if you put the purge at the bottom and the vent at the top, as you can see, the purge gas will be filled from the bottom and push air out of the vent hole. So the inside of the pipe will be filled with purge gas. This is a very important understanding about back purging. Please remember this. How do I know if the purging is working properly and I can start welding? You have to wait for a while until the pipe inside is filled with argon gas but you are not sure how long you have to wait. It depends on pipe size, spool length, and purge gas pressure. I will show you my way. Mostly, I turn on the purge gas full blast if I use a regular gas cylinder. I lower gas pressure if I use a bulk pack or a liquid argon as it is high pressure. I feel the purging gas pressure with my hand. If it is too high, I make a bigger vent holes. If it is too low, I make a smaller vent holes. There is a clear way to see if it is ready for welding or not by using a thin plate. Put the plate on the joint and strike an arc and stay a couple of seconds. Then look at the back side. If it is clean, it is ready to weld. If it is black or sugaring, you have to wait longer. 
The most difficult case for purging pipes is where the pipe is big and long. I will show you how to purge in this case. The pipe you are looking at is carbon steel. I don't have a long stainless steel pipe to show this way. So I will explain assuming that each carbon steel pipe is 12 feet long and made of stainless steel. If you install a purging dam at both ends, as you can see, you will have to purge a total of 24 feet of pipe inside. It takes a long time to purge and purging is not good. Eventually, the welding is not good either. The solution is to install the purging dam close to the weld joint. First, prepare a rope and grinding disc that are longer than the length of the pipe. As you can see, connect the rope to the purging dam. Then, before fitting up the pipe, install the purging dam close to the weld joint. If the pipe is too long, you can use air to reach the rope to the end of the pipe. If you install the purging dam too close to the weld joint, the weld heat may melt the rope and purge foam. If that happens, you can't get the purging dam out of the pipe after welding. Install dam about one foot apart from the joint. This way, instead of purging 24 feet pipe inside, you only need to purge 2 feet. So the purging time is shorter and the purging effect is better. After welding, you can pull the rope to get the purging dam out of the pipe. Another method is to use a long stick to push the purging dam close to the weld joint. If the weld joint is close to the pipe end, the foam may burn. In this case, use a thin metal plate. As you can see, cut the metal plate to fit the pipe and use tape to attach it. Common mistakes by carelessness. First, purge line falls out. As you can see on the screen, the purge line connected to the purge dam comes off during welding. If the foam is too old, it starts to crumble due to the heat. If you continue to use it, the foam and the purge line will come off together, or only the purge line will come off. Second, the purge line tangled or stepped on a stool or a foot. Unfortunately, these mistakes bring about a big problem like a sugaring. You have to cut the pipe and do it again if these mistakes happen. Therefore, you have to make sure not to get these mistakes happen before welding. Purge gas containers are important. There are four types. A large tank. Most pipe spool shops have this tank. A bulk pack containing 10 or more cylinders. A liquid argon gas storage. A regular cylinder. If you weld less than 4 inch pipes mostly, a regular gas cylinder would be okay. When purging, gas pressure is important. The gas must be supplied at high pressure to purge large and long pipes. Therefore, if you weld large and long pipes, I recommend using bulk pack or liquid argon because they are high pressure gas. I think this is all about today's episode about pipe back purging. I try to share my real experience and know-hows. Please subscribe and like if you enjoy my episode. Thank you.